FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavento with the mid-morning, up, mid-afternoon update for TFNN. We've got the stock indices lower. Uh, we've got gold and silver under a great deal of pressure. And we've got the grains under a great deal of pressure. If you look up at the board today, there's only a couple things that are green. Uh, the Japanese yen versus the dollar is one. And then we've got, I believe, it's uh, crude oil is up just a tad. So those are the only ones that are up. Everything else is under a, a extreme amount of pressure. So whether that will continue or not, I don't know. I posted the chart here into the Tiger Den showing you the volatility that we've had this morning uh, in the uh, E-mini S&P, folks. We've had a, a move of well over 60 handles uh, I mean, it's just unbelievable. 20 up, 20 down, 20 up, 20 down, almost 80 handles, and we're almost our way to our 100 handle as we sit here as the market is trying to get back to even right around this uh, 18, excuse me, 41, 51 level. We know what the pattern looks like. We've made it through the uh, dreaded solar eclipse and new moon of uh, Thursday and Friday. And so we're going to be really exciting Monday coming in. And believe me, folks, this market could break out to the upside. There's uh, no question about it. We have been here for five straight days, and it's a, a giant battle going on, and that battle will be uh, in full swing when we come in Sunday and Monday. That's my opinion. Um, and remember, it's my opinion only, and opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it usually smells pretty bad. Anyway, let's take a look at one other thing that's uh, very important, and that is the fact that these markets have exhibited some of the most strong resilience to bad news that I have ever seen in my 60-some years of watching these markets. I mean, they have thrown everything at this thing, and it just hasn't gone down very much. Banking scares COVID. It doesn't. It doesn't make any difference. That in itself should scare you. And believe me, I'm raising my hand, being short, and say, yes, I will be scared. Uh, we're short from the area right around the uh, 18. Wow, why do I keep saying 18? 4178 uh, is the area where we uh, sold. Uh, we're going to have our stop at break even today because if we get out there, we want to stand aside and look at it again Monday. And if we close below 4130, uh, we're going to add. Uh, at least I am going to add to the short position to see if it works. We're going to take a break. Mike Moore is our guest. More analytics at the break. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. 